YouTube, what's good? It's your boy Delonte from Distinct Reptiles. We're back with another amazing video today. But before I get into today's video, I want to give a shout out to my homeboy, Antoine from High Desert Pythons. Thank you for the shirt, big homie. It fits great, man. Make sure you guys follow him on Instagram, YouTube, all of the major uh, social networks. Great guy, great breeder. Thanks. I appreciate it. So in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how I made my photo booth. I'm gonna show you step by step. I'm gonna simplify this for everyone who is following. Trust me, this is inexpensive, it's very easy. And if you wanna take your photos to an entire different level, this is how you do it. Whenever you're posting on Morph Market, Instagram, Facebook, you know, you wanna post a quality animal. You know, you wanna be able to see the genes at play. This is what will do that for you. So you guys, stay tuned. So this is my photo booth. This is what I actually took my photographs to an entire different level at least i feel that way um for most of you who do not know i am a wildlife photographer i also photograph models i've been published quite a few times and you know so i just kind of wanted to give you guys a little bit of background you know on me so when you photograph an animal the light is going to reflect off of each of those walls and it's going to illuminate your animal um, this was the same exact concept that I used to use when I was photographing models. Um, you know, they would pretty much stand on a platform similar to this. I would photograph them. The light would bounce off of the walls and illuminate the subject. So same concept when it comes to photographing snakes, um, especially uh, hatchlings. That's what I made this for. I used it all last season. Guys, I can't say enough good things about it. It, it worked wonders you know every picture that I posted was clear sharp you know it was beautiful so now let's get into how I made this okay guys so let's get into the details of how I actually made this the sides are 16 and a half this one and this one the bottom is 12 and a half and the back part is eight I started off super gluing the bottom to the back part right after I super glued that I super glued the sides to this the back part sorry to the back part and to the bottom once I did that I had everything in place that I needed then I added some tape just to you know keep it steady because guys let me remind you like it's not tough you know it's it's foam board so it's a little flimsy you have to be careful with it but it works so I added some tape to the back part. So I added some tape here all the way down. Same thing with on this side. I also added some to the bottom. So then I added my construction paper. I used two black clips. Boom, it works like <laughs> It works, it, it's crazy how great this photo booth is. And guys, it only cost me, like I said, $13 for all of the supplies. It was cheap, it was easy. Um, I can't say enough good things about it. So this is what I use to photograph my snakes. I do not use a studio light, I use a speed light. The one that I use is a Young Nuo 568 EX2. Very powerful, I've had it for several years and I haven't had any issues with it. So most of you may be asking, what is that gigantic thing on the end of your speed light? That is a diffuser. Um, I use that, you know, to soften the light. I purchased it from GaryFong.com. If you guys are interested, it's about $60. You don't have to use that one. You can use the one that comes with your Young Nuo. Uh, it, it works great. But me personally, I like the Gary Fong one. So that's why I chose it. It, you know, it pretty much allows the light to go everywhere and it's soft, super soft. Trust me when I tell you. So this is the camera that I use to photograph my animals with. Um, I've been using it for several years now. I photograph wildlife, models, you name it. This camera can take care of it. You don't have to use this exact same camera. I'm also using the Canon M50. That's what I'm recording this video with. So I started taking some pictures with this as well. I like this one um, a lot better. It's a lot cheaper actually uh, for photographing snakes. So this one, the Canon 
M50 is about $500. Um, they actually have the Canon M52 out, so you might want to get that one. That's a newer one. But I just wanted to show you, you know, what I'm using. So I do not recommend using your cell phone to photograph in these soft boxes. If you want to do it, knock yourself out. But I do not recommend it. Just, you know, take $500, guys. Buy yourself a camera that you can, you know, make YouTube videos with and that you can also photograph your animals with. The Canon M50 or Canon M52 works great. I, but like I said, I use my Canon 7D Mark II and I use the Canon M50. Hopefully you guys like today's video. If you do, please like, share, and subscribe. And if you guys decide to make a photo booth, tag me in it. I would love to see what you guys are making. Um, you know, you might spark something in my brain that makes me want to add to what I've already made. So take care.